The subtitle of Dancing with Water is the new science of water. So what do we mean by that? Well, I actually want to begin with another question, a question that's been asked for centuries, what is life? And as we get closer to answering that question, we're discovering that one of the big differences between living and not living is the flow of energy. And energy flows best when there's an organized pathway with a minimum of resistance. The kind of organization we're referring to here exists in crystals. They're nature's way of relaying and storing information. They also amplify signals and they can change one form of energy to other forms. At a molecular level, you will always find a repeating geometry or a geometric pattern in a crystal. That's an organized pathway for the flow of energy with a minimal resistance. Communication on this planet changed dramatically when crystals were incorporated in crystal radios. And all of a sudden, signals can be transmitted with greater ease and much more clarity than ever before. Today, crystals are used in many solid state technologies. Now, there are numerous components of the human body, as well as in all forms of organic life, that function like crystals, only they're liquid crystals. And these liquid crystals work with a special phase of water to form an informational signaling network that provides the pathway for the flow of energy and the flow of life force. We refer to this special phase of water as liquid crystalline water. Interestingly, not only does the unique molecular structure of liquid crystalline water provide a pathway for the flow of signals and information within this liquid crystal, but the flow of energy itself supports its structural stability. Now, our new sciences reveal that life itself can now be defined in terms of organization and ingredients, rather than simply just a gathering of ingredients alone. Evidence of water's structural organization also establishes firm ground for the acceptance of water as a living component of our world. And that brings us to another facet of what we call new science. There are spiritual aspects to water that have been forgotten. Many of the new sciences are more heart-centered and they help us address the spiritual aspects of water. So, what is the new science of water? Well, number one, it's an investigation into water's liquid crystalline phase. How it can be established and maintained, and how it can be used to support health and evolving consciousness. And number two, the new science is also an awakening to the spiritual side of water. The side that speaks to our hearts and connects us with Mother Earth. Melanie and I believe the book Dancing with Water will open your eyes to things about water you never knew, and it will open your heart to an old and dear friend. Join us for a refreshing new science view of water.